I think he deeply needs to regret what he said. It's, it's shocked the people, it's saddened the people, and I think that he owes an apology to the nation because he has called the Prime Minister a coward and a psychopath. I think this is not acceptable and tolerable. I don't think any Indian will forgive him, barring his close people who may be feeling he's done the right thing. This cannot be the language against highest officers of this country. And here is a man who is leading the country against all odds. Here is a man who is idolized and respected the world over. He's the tenth, one of the ten most respected people in the world today. He's one of the first ten most respected. He's the ninth. He's the ninth, ninth most respected person in the world today, in the world leadership. And he's calling that person a coward and a psychopath happens to be a Prime Minister of India of 1.3 billion, this is unforgivable. This is not forgivable. Even if he says sorry, it's not going to be enough. I think he's made a big blunder. And that comes out of, out of you see, the la language out in stress comes out, the language you use in ordinary, ordinary situations. Their language has to change. He has turned, uh, actually, his own protest to protection. If you noticed, he's come out of a protest. His party is an emergence out of a protest, which we all work together against corruption. And that same thing now, he's working on protecting corruption. First of all, his choice of a person was all known. When he, when he chose Rajinder Kumar, I do not know whether he should know. He should be knowing. Everybody knew the person he had chosen. In fact, this, this was immediately the murmur. It was a murmur in the... Um, bureaucratic in all of our circles, what kind of a person is he chosen? Because everybody knew that this person has allegations against him. There was a big setback. Actually, the, this was a message to the bureaucrats. What kind of people is he choosing? I remember many colleagues saying, what kind of a person is he chosen? So he chose somebody without due diligence or knowingly. Knowingly. So the man was under investigation. Complaints were under CBI. He should have. Why did he continue working with such a man who was, who was himself going to be under a cloud and investigation and who enjoyed basically very little credibility in the bureaucratic circles? Let me tell you that. And I'm quite surprised that he didn't know or his close people not know. Why did he keep him there? And then once he is raided, he is raided and CBI is doing its duty. Police is always a difficult duty. Because when you raid one, you are annoying something. Police lose, gains one and loses another. That's the, that's the irony of police work. That's justice all about. The CBI has very clearly said, do not mislead people. Do not spread falsehood. And do not impede our investigation by doing this. CBI said, you are spreading falsehood. We have not raided Chief Minister's office. We have raided Chief Minister's Secretary's office. Right? So therefore, do not tell lies. Do not spread misinformation and this is impeding our investigation.